Okay, so the first place we're going to start on Coho is the compliance section. Now for this, I've just created a new property to test Muse. I was surprised there was such a place, but it seemed like it functioned quite well for this. The first thing you'll notice is this has a little 10% thing on it. Now, the whole reason that exists is because when you add a property to Coho, we assume that you probably have all of the documentation for it, the like gas safety and everything. So we assume it's just that you haven't got around to adding it yet um, because there's so much to do, not enough hours in the day. So we use this property completion to say, here are the things that are probably needed. Um, we assume you've got it. So we're not going to put it in your actions just yet. Uh, we're going to leave it in the completion. So the way that you should generally do this is after adding a property, you should go down each of these and you should add, add each item. When you feel that you've done all of them, at that point, you click end this process. Um, and what that will do momentarily is it will convert all of those items then to actions. Uh, so then they'll be notifying you. But if, if any of you have ever wondered why your properties have that percentage thing, it's just about that completion stage. So it's just letting you know there's still stuff to be done on there. Um, right, so as you can see now, we've got a load of actions. Um, okay, so the actions are what tells you everything that needs to be done in Coho um, that actually has an action with you. Um, all of the compliance stuff will show in the property. There are tenancy that are related to should say I've added my wife to room B, uh, but I haven't added a tenancy agreement. I haven't added the right to rent. So the actions are where you handle all of that stuff. Some of the newer bits to this is you can assign people in your team to this. Um, and you'll, if you see up here, it says mine and unassigned. Sometimes some people will ask us why there isn't an action there and they know it's there. And it's because it's not assigned to them. It's assigned to somebody else. You can see them all by clicking the all. That's not going to change anything on this account because nothing's assigned. The other thing is some of the actions maybe just take a little bit longer. Um, you know, they it, you may be aware that a gas safety is required and you're getting it done. So you can click on this here and mark it as in progress. And that's just a way of letting you sort of check what's new, check what's been done. Um, if you're working with VAs, this could be somewhere that you just jump in and you assign people. The other thing some people maybe aren't as aware of, which I'll, I'll just jump back to the main dashboard. Uh, in the user section, you can automatically assign uh, actions to people. So if we go to this property, um, the lettings and sales actions will just be the organization default, which is unassigned, but I can change these to automatically go to me and update that. And what that means is when, in this case, when a new gas safety is required, it will go to Brandy, it won't go to me. Um, and that just helps with that too many notifications happening uh, and making sure everyone's on top of it. So if I go back into my property, we can see here that a boiler service is due. Now, I don't care about the boiler service on this property. So what I'm going to do is go straight in and I'm going to turn that off. Uh, you can turn that off across all properties or you can just do it for this one, but I'm just going to turn it off for this one. And then that boiler service action will clear hopefully instantly, but if not within a couple of minutes. Now gas safety, let's have a look at the settings in here. So it's manual um, and we're going to get a reminder on here four weeks before it's due. Now, some people want that shorter. Some people want that longer. So I can go in there and I can change that to six weeks and I can change that across all of my properties or just this one. But for now, I'm just going to do it across this one. Um, so I'm going to go back to the main dashboard and I'm going to show you we have all these compliance things, but a few months ago, we introduced a new panel that brings it all together. So if we go here to the compliance panel, so there's none expired because as you saw, there's none added. So expired and not existing are two different things in our system. So what I'm going to look at is all of them. Um, I'm going to add a gas safety. So you can see here that there's gas safety to be added. So I'm going to go down to my gas safety again. 
and I am going to add one from, let's say from the 1st of January, but I'm just going to change it to be expiring tomorrow, maybe. Uh, and then from here, documents. I'm sure if I had a placeholder document that was going to make this easier. There we go. We'll just add empty PDF to here. Right. So now um, one is due in zero days, as in we need to get it in today. Otherwise, it's going to be overdue. Uh, and if I go back into this compliance panel now, we'll see that there is one expiring in seven days. Now, one thing that people find really useful is changing this to 30 days, getting all of the gas safeties. You can export them then and you can throw them over to whoever it is in your team that's gonna go door to door and sorting them all out. <clears throat> uh, the other thing I just wanna mention before we move on from compliance. Uh, in fact, I haven't been keeping an eye on the chat because Zoom has hidden it from me annoyingly. Uh, chat. There we go. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, so feel free just to chuck any questions in as we go. Uh, the other thing I want to mention with compliance is, as I'm sure a lot of you know, these things will show up straight away in your tenants' dashboards. It will also send them a notification through Coho that they have a new one. But what we also do is serve it to them through the email address that you have saved for them. Um, uh, yeah, so that will mean that you have complete um, uh, complete confidence that the tenant has been served those documents for any new ones that are coming through. Um, right, so I will move on. Uh, okay, so you can't add it from the compliance panel just yet, but what you can do is add it from the actions. Uh, you can go into any of these and go add. So that's probably... Um, it, it should be as simple to do it in one place there. Okay, so moving on from compliance, uh, someone's asked, is there an audit trail for the emails? Um, so we, ha we have it in the system. The system will say that it has been emailed and this is the email address it's gone to and this is the date it was sent to. I also think that there is... I think that you get CC'd, but I will need to confirm that. <clears throat> um, yeah, they are asked to acknowledge all compliance. It's not legally required, obviously. Um, all you have to do as a manager is, is give them the documents and evidence that you've given it them. But I do think the absolute top class in that evidence is knowing that they have actually clicked a button to say they've seen it. 